Republicans are defying the wish of their own voters just to get more money from billionaires. Check it out, leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. One minute's past the hour. Uh, Dick Durbin took to the floor of the Senate. This is uh, absolutely brilliant. He, he takes to the floor of the Senate. And I, you know, I already shared with you Mitch McConnell's, uh, if you guys try to pass a law that lets everybody vote in America who's qualified to vote, then we're going to have a nuclear explosion. It's going to be scorched earth. So that, that was Mitch McTurtle. So uh, Dick Durbin goes on the floor and he says, today, nearly 65 years after Strom Thurmond's marathon defense of Jim Crow, the filibuster is still making a mockery of American de democracy. This is the senator from Illinois, Dick Durbin. He's also the, uh, I believe, the number two, uh, I think he's the Senate, Senate Majority Whip. Uh, the number two, yeah, he's the number two Democrat in the Senate. The filibuster, Dick Durbin said, is still being misused by some senators to block legislation urgently needed and supported by strong majorities of the American people. This is what hitting legislative rock bottom looks like. Today's filibusters have turned the world's most deliberative body into one of the world's most ineffectual bodies. He went on to say, I support any proposal that ends the misuse of the filibuster. I have long been open to changing the Senate's rules to restore the standing filibuster. See, he's talking about what I call the Jimmy Stewart filibuster. If you, wanna, if you want to speak, if you want the American people to hear your opinion on a piece of legislation, if Mitch McConnell wants to get up there and talk about why it's so important that, that we privatize Medicare or why it's so important that we let the, the oil companies continue to pump poison into the air, great, let him speak. Let him speak as long as he wants. But when he runs out of steam and finally sits down, have the damn vote. So anyhow, back to, to, to Dick Durbin. I have long been open to changing the Senate's rules to restore the standing filibuster. If a senator insists on blocking the will of the Senate, they should have to pay some minimal price of being present. No more phoning it in. I mean, this is how it works right now, right? H.R. 1, the For the People Act, that guarantees voting rights in America and restores some parts of the Voting Rights Act that the Republicans are totally opposed to. Freedom Works, the, the, you know, the, 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 the Koch Networks uh, you know, kind of house organ, they're calling it the Gag Act. It's going to gag the billionaires. The billionaires are going to be worried that protesters will show up at their home because they're going to have to reveal who they're giving money to. Oh, my God. Right? This is how bad it is. So they're all flipped out about this. And, and so if the, if the uh, For the People Act, H.R. 1, is presented in the Senate, say Senator, Senator uh, uh, well, it could be any senator, actually, uh, brings it, I mean, Schumer, Schumer obviously, but, um, you know, drops it on the Senate floor, and a Republican wants to stop it dead in its tracks, literally, Ted Cruz can say, or Marco Rubio can say to his number one aide, please call the aide for uh, Senator Schumer and tell them that I object. Or he can just send an email. I object to H.R. 1. And boom, all of a sudden Schumer has to come up with 60 votes, which is impossible because the Republicans are obstructing absolutely everything, including your $1,400 check. They tried to stop that. Your $300 unemployment benefit, they tried to stop that. Aides going to, to towns and counties so that they can keep their fire departments working and their police departments and their public schools. They tried to block that. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. So anyhow, Durbin says, no more phoning it in. It's time to change the Senate rules and stop holding this Senate hostage. We cannot allow continued misuse of arcane rules to block the will of the American people. I urge my colleagues to defend American democracy by making the changes needed. Four years ago, 31 Senate Democrats signed on to a bipartisan letter urging Senate leadership to preserve the filibuster. So just four years ago, you had 31. But of course, four years ago, the Democrats were in the minority. Now they're in the majority. You see how these things work. 
But the fact of the matter is that the Democrats in the United States Senate represent 41.5 million more Americans than do the Republicans in the Senate. And that number is going to continue to grow, by the way. So here we have a group of Republicans who are in the minority in the Senate and represent 41 million fewer Americans than the Democrats do who are preventing legislation from passing that is appreciated, liked, wanted, fill in your blood, you know, whatever adjective you want to use, is, is, or, or is that a verb, whatever, uh, by the majority of Americans. They are defying the will of the majority of us. 70% 70, 70 of Republicans wanted the $1,400 checks. All of the Republican senators voted against it. They are defying their own people because they want to keep taking money from lobbyists and billionaires. You get this? It's time to end the filibuster. The phone no and it's time to end the privatization of Social Security. The phone number for the Congressional Switchboard 202-224-3121.